so magnesium is an important mineral that every thyroid patient should take but do you know the right form of magnesium that you need to take for your thyroid condition this is what we're going to talk about today hi i am dr anshil gupta i'm a functional medicine expert i help people reverse their chronic diseases so magnesium is an important mineral and the recent research shows that it is involved in more than 300 biological processes which are happening in your body so you see magnesium is such an important mineral which is very important for the proper functioning of your body and now we are actually realizing that more and more people are deficient in this important mineral and that's the reason supplementation is very important especially people with thyroid disorders are very low in magnesium levels and that's the reason it is very important to take a supplement now the question that most people ask is that why are we low in magnesium so there was a research study done what they checked was that the food from 1999 the level of magnesium in that and the present food in 2000 that we have how much magnesium it has and it was shown that our food crops are much lower in magnesium now these days as compared to what it was a long time ago and this is a major reason that even though you are eating the healthiest food in this planet but because your food is low in magnesium that's the reason that your body is also low in that the second problem is that you know it is also difficult for our body to absorb magnesium for food so if you have a thyroid disorder most of the people with thyroid disorders also have gut disorder or inflammation and they are not able to absorb the proper magnesium for the food so that's the reason supplementation of magnesium is very important now let's first talk about what benefits you should expect or should get from magnesium okay so as i said magnesium is an important mineral involved in more than 300 processes in your body but the most important process it is involved is in energy production yes magnesium is an important mineral which is needed by one of the important key organ in your body or organelle in your body called mitochondria mitochondria is a powerhouse of your cell that is required to produce energy and if magnesium levels are low then it is not able to produce that energy and most people will feel either fatigued or they will feel tired they will have mood changes they will have depression issues or they will have brain fog issues all of these things are because of poor mitochondria and magnesium is very important supplement that can actually support your mitochondrial health and can actually improve all of these symptoms okay now magnesium is also important for immunity now magnesium is what we call as immunoregulator what that means is that it basically regulates your immunity so if you have good magnesium levels in your body it actually improves your good immune cells and improves your immunity well if your magnesium levels are low then actually it causes the bad immune cells to grow and actually causes more inflammation and causes your immunity to go low so that's the reason magnesium is also important for that now magnesium is also important for thyroid or Hashimoto's patients because it helps it in thyroid hormone production so magnesium is important for iodine uptake okay so your thyroid hormone is actually made by iodine right and when you when you consume iodine or when the iodine is present in your body then it is need to be uptaked by your thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormone and magnesium is one of the important or key mineral which helps in taking up uh, iodine by your thyroid gland so again if you're low in magnesium you know it cannot take iodine in your body and that's the reason you know you cannot produce enough thyroid hormone so that's the important part now the other important benefit that magnesium provides is that it it if you have low magnesium level it has shown that you have higher thyroid antibodies so thyroid antibodies are responsible for di for damaging a thyroid gland and that's the reason you develop Hashimoto's or low thyroid issues or even high thyroid issues and magnesium the low levels of magnesium actually promote these antibodies but if you have good or normal magnesium levels or if you have high magnesium levels that actually reduces the amount of antibodies in your body so that's the reason is also important for thyroid patients the other important important benefit of magnesium is that it is very important for your brain health and also important for your gut health okay so that's the reason magnesium is very important by different mechanisms it supports your brain health you know gets your more mental clarity it also supports your gut health so you see these are all different benefits of magnesium that you have for your thyroid gland or thyroid symptoms so very important mineral to have 
Now let's talk about you know like what kind of magnesium supplements are there and how much magnesium you should consume. So magnesium actually comes in different forms. Okay, magnesium comes in magnesium oxide, magnesium citrate, magnesium glyconate, magnesium threonate, and magnesium orotate. Okay, now. The magnesium oxide is the one which is available easily or in all the different like pharmacies but that is the one which has the least benefits for your body magnesium oxide is really kind of you know corrosive for your gut you know and it gives you it doesn't give you that good benefit and the amount of magnesium absorbed from magnesium oxide is very less so that's the, the magnesium i definitely do not recommend to use so the other forms are good so magnesium citrate is the good form of magnesium it gets absorbed easily in your body easily available magnesium citrate is actually very useful for people who have constipation issues or who have low or slow gut okay so magnesium citrate can be very very useful because it helps with constipation and then your bowels are very regular and you get all the benefits from the magnesium also the second form of magnesium which is very useful is magnesium glyconate now magnesium glyconate is the one which is very very relaxing so if you have issue with diarrhea or a magnesium citrate is causing you diarrhea then you can use magnesium glyconate but if you have sleeping troubles or if you want like you know if you have muscle spasm issues then magnesium glyconate can be very helpful for that again you take it in the evening again helps you to sleep and again reduces you know muscle spasm so a very relaxing magnesium form of magnesium glyconate now the third form is magnesium threonate now this special magnesium actually is very very helpful for brain functioning so if you have issues with dementia or if you have issues with brain fog or if you have problems with ADHD or difficulty concentrating all of these symptoms can actually be improved by magnesium threonate now this is a magnesium which is not easily available but if it is available then you know it can be very very useful for you now what is the right dosage of magnesium uh, so all, all these supplements have the same kind of dosage levels because they provide you the same magnesium so anywhere from 400 milligrams to 500 milligrams of magnesium supplement if you're taking on the daily basis then it can give you all these health benefits and it is easily absorbed and can 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 be helpful for you okay so you see magnesium is a wonderful mineral that definitely you should include if you do have a thyroid supplement or if you have thyroid issues but it's very important to know all the different versions of magnesium which are available in the market so you can choose the best one for you okay i hope you find this video useful um, thank you so much take care bye bye